Let's talk about the best nutrients to remove plaque from your arteries. When I talk about plaque, I'm talking about three things. Now I want you to understand this because this is very important for you guys to know. Actually, arterial plaque consists of three primary components, cholesterol, fibrous proteins, and calcium. Cholesterol is a lipid molecule essential for various bodily functions, but detrimental in excess within arterial walls. And fibrous proteins are the proteins that contribute to the structural integrity of the plaque, leading to fibrosis. And lastly, calcium is a mineral deposits that harden the plaque over time, a process known as calcification. These three elements collectively form a band aid within arteries in response to inflammation or injury. Now there are two main types of arterial plaque, one soft plaque, and the other one is hard plaque, often called calcified plaque. Soft plaque is characterized by lipid-rich deposits, making it unstable and more prone to rupture, potentially leading to erectile dysfunction and heart attacks or strokes, while calcified plaque contains more calcium, making it stable and less likely to rupture. And soft plaque is approximately four times more common than calcified plaque and poses a higher risk due to its instability. When you take a coronary artery calcium CAC test, you receive a score that represents the amount of calcified plaque in your arteries. However, it's important to note that this test primarily detects calcified plaque, not soft plaque, which can be even more dangerous. Now, here's where things get interesting, the CAC paradox. You might notice that after making positive lifestyle changes, such as improving your diet, eliminating unhealthy foods, and adopting a healthier lifestyle, your CAC score increases. This might seem alarming, but in reality, it doesn't necessarily mean your condition is worsening. Instead, it suggests that soft plaque is being converted into calcified plaque, making it more stable and less likely to rupture, which is a good thing. However, since the CAC test does not detect soft plaque, it's not the best standalone test for assessing overall arterial health. Fortunately, there are other tests that can help identify soft, unstable plaque. I'll discuss those shortly. Okay. So one key factor in arterial plaque buildup is glycation. But what exactly is glycation? It's a process where sugar molecules bind to proteins, creating harmful compounds that contribute to inflammation and arterial damage. This process plays a role in soft plaque formation, which is more unstable and dangerous than calcified plaque. Soft plaque is also strongly linked to oxidation, particularly the oxidation of LDL, low-density lipoprotein. However, not all LDL is the same. There are two types of LDL, small, dense LDL. This is the harmful, pathogenic form of LDL that easily oxidizes and contributes to plaque buildup. And then there is large, buoyant LDL. This type is much less harmful and not considered a major risk factor for heart disease. And you know your erectile health or your erections is directly connected to your heart. If your heart is at risk, so as your erections. Unfortunately, most standard cholesterol tests don't differentiate between these two types of LDL. But don't worry. I'll show you a simple way to use the information from your blood test to determine what type of LDL you have. Now these are the four best tests for artery health myeloperoxidase test, which detects inflammation in the arteries, LPPL, A2 test, helps identify dangerous soft plaque, carotid ultrasound, a non-invasive test with 98.6% accuracy in predicting artery problems, and lipoprotein insulin resistance test, one of the best indicators of arterial plaque and overall cardiovascular health. Okay. So, if you ever get a blood test, there's a key measurement you can request that is highly associated with cardiovascular disease, and that's ApoB, apolipoprotein B. Why is ApoB important? Unlike standard cholesterol tests, ApoB gives insight into the number of LDL particles in your bloodstream. And as we discussed earlier, not all LDL is the same. Some are harmful, small, dense LDL, while others are not large, buoyant LDL. Now, here is the simple formula to identify your LDL type. Even if you don't take an advanced lipid test, there's a way to estimate whether you have more small, dense LDL harmful or large buoyant LDL less harmful. Here's how. Divide your LDL by your ApoB levels. If the result is greater than 1.2, 
This suggests large, buoyant LDL, which is not strongly linked to erectile health or heart disease. But if it's less than 1.2, this indicates more small, dense LDL, which is associated with a higher risk of atherosclerosis, which means weaker erections, or ED. This is a simple but effective way to assess your cardiovascular risk using numbers you can get from a standard blood test. Now that we've covered how to identify dangerous LDL particles, let's dive into which nutrients can actually help remove plaque from your arteries, keeps your arteries clean, and support heart health. Number one is pine bark extract, often called pycnogenol. Research shows pycnogenol helps convert dangerous soft plaque into stable hard plaque from your penile arteries, and also reducing the risk of heart attacks. Studies also show pycnogenol reduces oxidative stress and improves blood flow in arteries. Dosages, 150 mg daily. Okay, so the next thing is go to cola. Again, it works synergistically with pycnogenol to prevent plaque formation and strengthen blood vessels. Research also suggests go-to cola improves vascular function and reduces plaque buildup. Dosage is 450 mg daily. Next thing is natokinase. Found in fermented soybeans natto, this enzyme reduces arterial thickness and improves circulation. Clinical studies show natto kinase significantly reduces arterial wall thickness. Next up is niacin vitamin B3. Now, niacin is a very important vitamin for men's erectile health, but don't go for the sustained release version. Opt for the one that causes the niacin flush. I know some people dislike the temporary tingling and redness, but when it comes to cholesterol management, this is the form that's most effective. Now, I'm not saying you need to take every single supplement out there. Instead, I'm highlighting the most potent ones that have been backed by research. Here are a few more worth mentioning. Tocotrienols, a unique form of vitamin E that helps reduce arterial inflammation. Berberine, supports healthy cholesterol levels and reduces oxidative stress in blood vessels. Aged garlic extract, well known for its ability to reduce arterial stiffness and improve circulation. And lastly, magnesium and potassium. These essential minerals help relax blood vessels, preventing stiffness and rigidity in the arteries. And lastly, vitamin K2 specifically, MK7 form, at least one milligram daily. This is one of the most powerful nutrients to stop arterial calcification. Most supplements provide it in micrograms, but you need milligrams for maximum benefit. A great source is Mega K2 by Life Extension. So final thoughts and key takeaways. Plaque buildup in the arteries is preventable and even reversible with the right nutrients and lifestyle changes. Get tested using better biomarkers, LPPLA2, myeloperoxidase, and ApoB. Focus on soft plaque, not just calcified plaque. Take pycnogenol, go to cola, vitamin K2, and natokinase to stabilize and reduce plaque, and avoid high carbon sugar intake to lower small, dense LDL. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more science-backed health content. Drop a comment below if you've tried any of these nutrients or if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Stay healthy and take care.